If your Roku TV's HDMI ports are not working, it says HDMI no signal, keeps disconnecting, the ARC port doesn't work, or maybe you see black screen when switching to your HDMI device, then I'll show you some easy to follow steps that will resolve any HDMI issues on your Roku TV. First double check that you are on the correct source. To do that, just go back to home and try other inputs. But if you can't find your device on any of these inputs, then ensure that the device is powered on and the HDMI cable is plugged in properly. If it's a soundbar or home theater, then you need to plug that device into the HDMI ARC port or else it will show up as no signal. Also, check that the cables are in fresh condition and rated for high-speed data transfer. Both the ports and the cables should be cleaned properly too. These are often overlooked and may cause signal issues. If you're still facing trouble, then you can try switching to a different port or try a different cable to rule out any issues caused by hardware. After going through all these hassles, if it still shows no signal, then disconnect all the HDMI cables that's connected and cold boot your TV by plugging it out from the power source. Wait for around 5 minutes and after that reconnect your HDMI device. And those of you who are using HDMI splitter or switcher, you can try plugging your device directly into your TV's HDMI port and see if that works. After following all these steps, your no signal or disconnection problem should be fixed. And after that, if you want to get more features for your HDMI devices such as power control, then you can turn on these HDMI CC features by going to settings, system, control other devices or CC, and make sure that one touch play and system standby is turned on. Now you'll be able to turn on or off both your HDMI device and your TV together. Unfortunately, if you're still getting HDMI no signal with one of your HDMI devices, then try a different device and see if that one works. If none of the HDMI devices work, then this may be a hardware issue and you should get in touch with customer support or get it repaired. So that's how you can fix HDMI issues on your Roku TV. Let us know if this was helpful and stay tuned for more.